everyone, this is The Zone, The Art Zone. I'm Bronson and today we're going to create some very remarkable arts and crafts. We will only use materials found around the house and the natural world. You will be amazed how easy it is to create with things we usually throw out. Today we are going to hook up with Kimmy, be artistic, creative, and resourceful. I'm going to show you how to collect materials, build a house, and some wonderful guests are going to drop by. Let's get into The Zone. Welcome to the art zone. Today we're going to be making a mobile. You're going to need a lot of things for this. Scissors, fishing wire, some branches, lots of different colored fuzzy material, needle and thread, shredded plastic, and some leather. As you can see, we've already sewn our clouds out of a really nice recycled plastic material. On the top of it is just fleece. And then we have some nice recycled plastic as the stuffing. Our little um, moon. moon and star is a fuzzy material as well. And then our teepee, we've already cut it out and added details to it. Right now, I'm working on the sun. And I'm working on the star. It's time to sew it up. And this was leftover felt from a project my grandma was doing, so we were really lucky to get it. And it's a basic straight stitch, just up and down, up and down. We've got to go all the way around and then leave a space open for our stuffing. that I've just left enough room for my stuffing as you can see there I was so busy sewing I almost forgot and sewed the whole thing up huh. okay let's stuff our Sun and our stars sounds like a plan now these are for your bedroom they're not for a baby's bedroom because they're not baby proof and for the stuffing, all we did is cut up some plastic bags, and that was our stuffing. You can use recycled paper, cotton if you want, even cut up material if you wanted to. It's all up to you. And my son is stuffed. So I now just sew up the, the opening. And you always have to tie a knot or you'll end up losing all your stitches and all your hard work. We're just going to use this fishing line for our threads so we can hang our mobile up from our branches. And the good thing about this fishing line is that it's invisible. So it looks like they're just dangling there with nothing holding them. And then when you're in bed, ready to go to sleep, you can look up at the sun, the moon, the stars, and the clouds. I finished sewing up my star, and it's ready to be hung from the branches. Bronson, you hold those, that, those at the end, and I'm just going to braid them. 
hopefully they won't snap. Okay, now you hold that side for me too and I'll get a couple little pieces of tape. Just to keep them in place and then we'll cover the tape with some leather. Sounds like a plan. It's a plan. Okay, some tape. Maybe right at the very end. So we get a nice arc. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna start cutting some leather. Just wrap around it. There's one piece. Perfect. She's gonna cut up another one. And now we're just gonna wrap those edges to make it look good. Now I'm just gonna show you how to thread the cloud with the invisible fish line. I'm just gonna go in right where you want it to be hung from and then out. And make sure if you're using this kind of thread, make sure you only use one layer. And I put the handle on the uh, mobile branch. And as you see, I've sort of had to move, move it over a bit because everything has to be balanced on a mobile or it'd be like this. You're gonna need a lot of knots for this because this wire is kind of slippery so it slips out of the knots really easy. Do one more, sorry, do four. If you know some fancy fishing uh, loop knots, this is the time to use them. <laughs> and just snip. And there we have our cloud ready to be hung. Here's our other cloud. You can see that we've tried to make them the same sort of shape and weight. So let's hope it all works for us. Okay, our stars go at the top, eh, Bronson? Mm-hmm. There and there. And make sure your fishing line is the same length so it's nice and balanced. We've attached the two stars and the sun and the moon and now we've put one fishing line right down the middle. And that's for our next piece that we already braided and leathered on the ends. And that's just gonna go just a little bit lower than the sun and the moon. Let me hold that up, I'll just yeah. tie it. One more, and done. Okay, okay now we yeah. have to just move it a tiny bit to one side. This is a very important part of a mobile because if everything isn't balanced, it'll, it won't swing freely. Our little pillows are attached to our branches and our teepees now at the bottom. Bronson, you've got the long arms. Why don't you pick it up for us? Okay, here we go. There's our teepee at the bottom. It's all nicely balanced. As you can see, because balance is really important when you're making a mobile. And the lovely little teepee at the bottom is really so meaningful. Uh, teepee poles in a teepee mean the, the values that you want in your home. One pole stands for happy children, lots of food, warmth, love. And the pegs that keep a teepee together mean keeping your family together. And this is our finished mobile here in the art zone. And now I'm just rolling up to Zoe's house, see what I'll find. Uh, Karen. And now I'm just gonna dial the number. Hey, come on, let's go. I'm just gonna roll up in here, wonder what I'll find. Just gonna knock on the door. Hey, Bronson. Hey, Zoe, what's up? Hi, come on in. How's it going? Nothing, just chilling. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I'd take a look at your transformer drawer. Oh, okay. Here it is. In all its glory. In all its glory. Yeah. <laughs> Collecting uh, junk here. A lid? Yeah, it's from a jar of salmon. A jar of salmon? Yeah. <laughs> I usually save them for my mom. Yeah, little candy jars, eh? Yeah. Here. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of sewing, so I'm just uh, 
saving these up for some reason. I can't, can't seem to throw anything out. <laughs> some of this wooden spool. Kind of an old fashioned one, right? Yeah, you know, how long have you been sewing for? Let's see, if I count the rings and the spool here, uh, 82 years. <laughs> 82 years. You think I can use some of these? Yeah, probably. What would you do with them? I don't know, I'd probably make a little table. Oh yeah, cool. Do something with these. Maybe these ones could be like table legs or something for a little table. Yeah, right? a little stool or something. Yeah. A three-legged table. Yeah. A little circle one. Cool. Well, these are going to be in the house for sure. You think I can have these? Yeah, I don't need them anymore. Go ahead. Thanks for sharing your time and your house with us. No problem. See you. I'm going to take these back to the zone, and I'm going to use them in a craft. <laughs> this house is completely done. Everything is made from recycled materials found around the house. You can make one too. Every time we get together, we'll make something new for our house. Are you with us? Then let's get started. Welcome to the home zone. Today we're going to make a closet for our bedroom. All you'll need are a box, scissors, glue, tape, and a little box for your drawer, and some brown paper. Bronson, why don't you um, draw out all the uh, doors and the, and the drawer? Can you pass me the ruler, please? Thank you. Actually, wait a second. This little thing would be good because it's okay. nice and small in here. And I'll start on the paper for the doors. I'm just drawing in some lines just to show where to cut for the opening doors and our little drawer. And where to fold, Bronson. And where to fold. Right. Fold. And as you can see, I've drawn in the lines for our box. Now we just have to cut them out. I think I'm gonna need something underneath it, so. How about this? That's the back to our closet. Mm, should we use that, is that sure. okay? Here's the little drawer, and you can see it's just a little Band-Aid box that we've already cut. I just wanna cover the front of it. And remember kids, don't cut along the fold lines, because then you wouldn't have opening doors. You'd be doorless. Now, as you can see, for me, I've just cut out my corners there. Now I'm just going to fold all my paper over. I'm going to start folding it right along the dotted line that I drew. A little bead for the handle for your drawer at the bottom. The bottom one you can just cut right out because there's going to be a drawer going right in there. I'm going to get the, um, the rod for the closet working. Now all I need is a couple little thicker pieces of cardboard and my rod to try and get it in there and then see I'll be attaching this to the walls inside. And fold. There you have it. There's a little drawer and here's our opening cubbies. Very good. Let's get this in one over there, I guess, and one over here, right in the middle. A little bit of glue. And there's our closet. We've covered the back. We've added a bit of tape that's going to be covered. And we glued on our bead for our drawer and already papered it. Let's see if we just fit right in there. the mundo. Okay, let's glue our paper now onto our doors. You can use any kind of paper for your closet. You can use colored tissue paper, wrapping paper. It's all up to you. We've cut our brown paper to size and now we're just going to glue it on. We already glued on our door handles, nice and door handles. And as Kimmy said, now we're going to glue it on.
our corners are looking good. We've got everything nice and neat. Our edges are looking nice and sharp. And I've put a bit of a wood effect on the doors. I should put a wood effect on a little drawer too. You think so? Yeah. It'll look good. It'll match the dresser inside of our bedroom. Yeah. We'll put it right beside it. There we go. And there you have it. Our finished dresser here in the home zone. What's today's special occasion, you ask? I think it's a great day to go out and collect some rocks. Today we're gonna hook up with my friend Peter. Are you coming? Let's go. Hey, yo, Peter, you think we're gonna find any rocks today? Of course, well, look at all these rocks around here. Yeah, true that, man. <laughs> find some good ones to skip, too. Yeah, and beaches are a good place to find rocks. Now look at this one. Has a bunch of indents and it's all red. Looks pretty cool, man. Oh, look at this one. Ah, that's a nice one. Yeah, this one is a nice one, man. Do you know when they have a ring around it? That's how many times it's been around the world. What? I never heard that. <laughs> yeah, I heard it, but I don't know. This one caught. I knew I seen this one. It's caught me on my eye, man. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. It has a little red entrance. Yeah. Looks like it's a pretty old rock, man. Oh, ew. Check this one out, man. Oh, look at this one. What? Oh, that's cool, man. It's like a petrified piece of wood, man. It's like rock hard. Yeah, the reason why this rock's so soft is because it's been lying in the sand for probably a long time. Well, let's get these rocks back to the zone. Let's roll. Hey, can you do that again so I can see how it's done? Take a look again. Let's take a look again at how we created our mobile. Decide what material you want to use for your mobile. Remember, fleece is a wonderful material to work with. We have created five shapes, cloud, stars, moon, and a teepee. Pink material for the sun? You bet. Polka dots in the clouds? It's your call. Cut them out, stitch around, leaving enough space for an opening to stuff your little shapes with shredded paper. The stars and the clouds should be the same size so the mobile is balanced. Tie your string to your braided branches and your shapes to the string. Just remember, it is not baby proof. This mobile is for you. Our zone, our zone. This teddy bear has seen a better day. It looks like someone really played it with it a lot. Whoever owned this bear sure loved it to bits. Poor guy. It's missing an eye and an ear. Do you think it's repairable? Let's try to resuscitate him. Stand back. Clear. Uh-oh. I hate to break it to you, but I don't know if he's gonna make it. I think the best thing we can do is salvage it for its parts. Let's see if the stuffing is still good. Still good. We can take them apart and use the stuffing to make a craft. I know what we can do. We can put it in our mobile pillows. Some of the material can be used for furniture. It's great to make something new out of something old. Especially if it was something we loved very much. It's all in the way you look at things. Hey, can you do that again so I can see how it's done? Take a look again. We are going to take a look again at how to build a closet for our bedroom. You will need a medium-sized box, wrapping paper, glue, chopsticks, and handles. Cover the box neatly with wrapping paper or brown paper. Use a chopstick for the closet rod. Tape it in securely so that it will be able to hold little hangers and clothes. Use beads for your handles. Cut excess paper from your corners. It's time to draw your wood effect. Just contour your lines. Your closet is ready for the playhouse.
Here in the Ark Zone, we are committed to treating Mother Earth in a respectful and gentle way. That's why we all use recycled materials when we're making art. We want to keep the Earth in a good way because we all need clean air and water. A clean Earth is important for healthy living for all beings. So do your best and see what you can do for Mother Earth. Let's all take care of her. Art is seen all around us, everywhere we look, from painting, beadwork, film, basket weaving, and animation. Today in the Art Zone, we have a wonderful guest to share with us about their art. Hello, Iona. Welcome to the Art Zone. Hi, Bronson. How are you today? Doing good. Looks like you're making a shawl. Yes, I am. I'm making this shawl for an order I have down in Tacoma, Washington. Mm. Nice colors here. Actually, all those colors that I have there is uh, scrap material that I've had from outfits that I've made in the past. And I've used those on my design for this shawl. Where did you come up with this design? It took me about a day to figure out the design that I wanted to use. I had to use my imagination. <laughs> Just use your imagination. Got some nice feathers in here. And with making this design, I usually use the uh, scrap materials that I have around the house. Like you can see, these are made out of cardboard cereal boxes. Cereal boxes, you got all sorts of things here. And this one is made out of uh, ice cream lid. So I use a lot of... Uh, materials around the house? Yeah, that I have laying around the house. When I start, an outfit, I always have to start from drawing it out, the, the patterns that I want to use on the whole outfit, and then I put it on the whole dress, the leggings, the yoke, and then the shawl. Then I know exactly where I, I want everything to be placed. So it's kind of like a blueprint for a rough draft. Right, exactly. Thanks, Iona, for visiting today and telling us about your shawl. And thanks for having me. I had fun today. Thanks to all of you for joining me today in the Art Zone. Life is good. It's all good. Art and craft making and being respectful to the natural world. See you again soon. And remember, use your imagination and have fun. Peace.